What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Recently, I had a chance to look at the Dalton Trustees interview. It was an interview that had the beautiful, very lovely Tammy Brown on there. She's been a trustee for, I believe, going on five years. And I have studied Dalton a little bit since I've been doing videos about them. And what I do know now, before Tiffany Henyard came into power, there was another guy that was there by the name of Riley Rogers. And from what I understand, people were not so excited about him staying. They felt Riley Rogers um, was kind of old, a little tired in his things. The way he ran the city was not favorable that Riley Rogers needed to go. They wanted somebody that was young, somebody that had a little bit of experience. So the best way to get rid of Riley Rogers was to get in Tiffany Henyard. It was a, a logical choice to them, they thought. I don't know how they thought that, but if they thought, okay, well, she's been a trustee for eight years. People really like her. She's young. Um, you know, At the time, I believe she was under 40, 37, 38. Let's let her come in, new ideas, new blood, um, youthful, a woman, a single mother. Let's go ahead on and risk the city by making this decision, okay? So out went Riley Rogers, largely because he had a stroke and could not really contest for mayor. So she won in 2021. Of course, he gladly left his seat and went into his own retirement, allegedly, Mr. Rogers will be running um, next year. Um, unfortunately, we will be throwing our support to Jason House. I'll be gladly raising money for his campaign throughout the tenure of the campaign. But Tammy Brown talks about those days, those days in which were different when she was a trustee under Riley and under Henyard. Let's check it out. And we came with Riley. Yes. Uh, Mayor Rogers. So, you know, the, the, in my belief, uh, it says that God hates ingratitude. And we're forever grateful for Absolutely. Riley Rogers getting Absolutely. into this political game. Yes, we are. And uh, because, he, because he, we started, I wasn't thinking about running for office until he, hey, hey you want to run for, 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 for trustee? I was involved, you know what I mean? But, yes, you are. So we're forever grateful for uh, Mayor Rogers for getting us into this game. Yes. Because we're still here fighting for yes. the community. And he got a lot of us, another generation, involved in politics uh, to actually, you know, save this village. Because it's pretty bad right now. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, yeah, we started with Rogers and, uh, and we got in. So what was the first, first two years of your, of, 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 your, uh, of your seat like? How was it, what was it like to you? It was m mostly a learning experience the first two years. A lot of people say, well, you didn't do anything. Why well, they didn't know anything. Yeah. So my thing is to sit back. And, and learn. Look at others who have been in this position before me and learn from that. Yeah. So my first two years was like learning a position, sitting back and setting that platform up for the following two years. Yeah. Yeah. So the first two years of a, a learning experience, yeah. a the, learning experience. And the first two years weren't, well, we couldn't, nobody compared us for the last two years, but, but the first two years, it was a learning, learning curve. Uh, uh, you're getting used to being in front of people. You're getting used to talking and stuff like that. Yes. Um, so the last two years of your first term, what was that like? Because the last two years, the last two years of our first, your, our term together, right. it was two first two years under Rogers, the last two years under Henry. What was that transition like? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like uh, day and midnight. <laughs> I would say, yeah. um, a very drastic turn yeah. of events, I would say. Um, I would say a totally different um, from my first two years. Um, being a trustee for eight years is totally different from being the mayor. Yeah. So I want you to listen to another part. Tammy Brown is going to talk about how late she gets things from Tiffany Henry in the disorganization from the mayor. 
were very stressful. Yeah. Um, I can definitely say that for me, still working a full-time job and taking on another full-time job. It started out as a part-time position, but when the new administration came in, it made it a full-time job for me. That means that I had to be on my toes at all times yeah. to make sure that um, things that maybe, you know, I didn't have to get so involved in my first two years, yeah. I had to make sure that I committed myself full time for this. Yeah. You had a lot of things, as, as you said, were going on. You weren't able to get the uh, warrant list yeah. in, a, in a reasonable amount of time. When we used to get it on a Thursday to prepare yourself for Monday's meeting, yeah. now you get it Saturday night, yeah. maybe midnight, or it's sometimes, Sunday afternoon. Sometimes the same day. And then you want me to look over 45, 50 pages mm -hmm. and then to make a decision. Yeah. Some of those things had needed to be investigated, yeah. and you didn't have the time to do that. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to go in there making a mistake voting on something yeah. that you have no knowledge of. Yeah. And that's where the differences came in with us in the new administration. Yeah. You wanted me to vote on something that I had no knowledge of. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't dare make a decision like that, that uh, not only affects me, but it affects our entire village. Mm. And then at the same time, when we first got there, there was a level of trust that you can go to the department heads. Even once you got it, you can call the department, you can call the village administrator, and they say, this is what it is, this is what it is. So you had that open communication you did. with the department heads, and all that stopped. You can even go in there and visit. Yeah. You yep. know, talk to them and say, hey, what are you doing? Yep. I want to stop by, and yep. I need for you to review some things or go over some things yep. with me. Um, with this administration, no one can talk to you. Yep. They say they can, they can't. Yep. One time I went to Republic Works when I was still there and I was over to Public Works and I went and they some case said, Man, look, the camera's on you, they know you're here. So Absolutely. And so that that's the, it Absolutely. turned into they were scared to talk to you. Absolutely. The department heads are scared to talk to you. And so you really couldn't get all the information you, you pretty much needed. You never could. You know I mean? And I always feel if a person has something to hide from you, it's something going on. Yeah. And when you started getting things that you used to have access to and that access was no longer granted, yeah. it was restricted, it's a problem. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. 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 And, and, and me being in HR for all those years, it really broke my heart to see the employees put in the middle of yeah. this fight, yeah. to have to make a choice to choose. Could I talk to you or I have to listen to what the administration is saying? You started to mess with people's livelihood, yep. their yep. lives, yep. their families. Yep. So I, I, I don't fault any of them for any of that because, yep. again, this is the way that they take care of their families. Yep. I understand that. Yep. But me, myself, hadn't been in that position, I would have quit. Yep. This is important because the mayor brings these things the day before the meeting only to ask you to vote on those things. Now, look at the things she tries to do. Vote on getting housing, buying houses. And we all know what she's been doing. Getting those houses for $10 and then selling them to her friends. All kind of corruption. Stealing money from the city, building a skating ring and naming it after her daughter. The whole thing is for you to basically get on her payroll and say I to whatever you, she wants to do. And that's why they were saying like, hey, you know, people are scared to work there. People are afraid. You know, she can't talk to anybody. That's intimidation. So the whole thing is you're my trustee. You don't need to review what's on this agenda. Say hello. Say I. Say you agree. And if you don't agree, I'm going to fire you. Or I'm going to basically try to sabotage your career. The same thing she does to these people that don't agree with her in the private sector there. Well, we're not going to give you a business loan, you know, or we're not going to give you a business license or we're gonna shut down your events. So we're gonna make you unprepared anyway and not give you any transparent information because you're supposed to vote on it. And if you don't, we're gonna punish you. This whole regime is just to do corrupt things, steal money, steal credit cards. And how dare you get upset about it? It's crazy, right? So guys, that's what's going on. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. For just a fall, you just heard a bell, we're out.